Hey everybody, I'm Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and today we're going to teach you the basics of sewing with your own sewing machine. So let's start with the supplies necessary to start any sewing project. Okay, first you'll need your sewing machine and its foot pedal, of course. Then you're going to need the thread that you'll be using for your project, some needles for your sewing machine, which come in little packs like this, a seam ripper, which is very important for your mistakes, a sharp pair of scissors, some thread clippers, some pins, a ruler, the fabric you'll be using, and then something to mark your fabric with. Here I have three different examples. This is a chalk pencil. This is a chalk dispenser which has a wheel, and as the wheel turns the chalk comes out. And then you also have a disappearing ink marker. Okay, so these are all the basic things we need to get started with our first sewing project. So once you have your basic sewing supplies, next step is to set up your sewing machine. Okay, first thing we're going to do is wind our bobbin. Here you see a plastic bobbin, and here's a metal one. Depending on your sewing machine, there'll be different types of bobbins and then also different sizes. So refer to your user manual so you can figure out which one you'll need. Okay, in this case, I'm going to put my clear bobbin on my bobbin winder. This, this little stick that you see sticking up right here. If you play with it, you'll see it'll move to the right and to the left. Okay, in order to wind the bobbin, we need it to be pushed over to the right side. So I'll put my bobbin there. Next is to grab the thread that I'll be using for my project. Okay, the same thread that I want to put on top of the machine here is the same thread I want to use in my bobbin. So I'll bring the thread over to this little tension disc and underneath it right here. Give it a little tug, make sure it slips underneath that. And then come across the machine here and wind it clockwise around your bobbin. I like to wind it at least five, six times and then just tug on the little tail with my hand. Make sure it's all the way to the right and then just step on your foot pedal and that'll wind your bobbin. Once you have your bobbin wound, now it's time to put it in the machine. So there's two parts to this. The actual bobbin with the thread that we just wound and the bobbin case. Okay, turn the case over and insert the bobbin. It falls right into place. Now I want the thread coming off clockwise until I reach that little tiny notch you see right there. Bring it down until you hear it snap like that into this opening. Okay, now the, the bobbin is correctly placed inside the bobbin case. The next step is holding the case, okay, because if you flip it over, it'll fall out. Flip it this way. And this little arm you see right here, there's a corresponding notch inside the machine. So make sure you place it in there, and you'll hear it snap. Just like that. Now that we have the bobbin in place, the next step is to load a needle into your sewing machine. Needles come in different packets like this, and for beginners, I generally like to have you start with a universal needle. This particular packet covers three different sizes. 70-10s, 80-12s, and 90-14s. The size of the needle corresponds to the weight of the fabric, so the higher the number, the thicker the fabric. In this case, we'll just be starting off with the general 80-12 needle. To load your needle into the sewing machine, first locate on the shaft of the needle the two different sides. One side is completely flat, and the other side is rounded. As you're loading it into the machine, you should only be looking at the rounded portion. Okay? Stick it all the way up there in the little needle hole that your machine has, and hold it up with your fingers. Then turn the needle screw away from you to tighten the needle in place. I like to give it a tug and make sure that the needle doesn't fall out. Okay, if the needle does fall out, you need to redo it. Otherwise, you're ready to start sewing. We're almost ready to start sewing. The last thing we have to do is to actually thread our machine. So I'll take the thread I'll be using and put it on my spool. Bring the thread across following these arrows. My machine has arrows, but some machines will have numbers. One, two, three, four, five letting you know the correct order in which to thread your machine. So I'm just going to follow these arrows and come right through here, down, back up over this thread guide. And right above my needle, there's also a small thread guide that most machines have, and this allows the thread to flow smoothly through your needle hole. In order to get it through my needle hole, I like to cut my thread at an angle, and that makes the thread a little slimmer, so it can fit through easier. Thread it through your needle hole, Pull the thread out back, put it through your foot, and you're ready to start sewing. Before you actually start stitching your real stitches, you'll have to take a first stitch and help bring up this bobbin thread that's caught underneath here. You need it to be coming out from in between this little center hole right here underneath your presser foot. To do that, I like to pull on the top thread, turn the hand wheel towards me to take a stitch, and as the needle comes back up, I'll tug at this top thread until the bobbin thread comes up. When the bobbin thread comes up, I'll take something pointy like my seam ripper, put it in there, and pull that thread back out. 
Now that I have both threads up top, put them towards the back of your machine and you're ready to start working on your first project. Before you work on your first project, you want to practice a little on some scrap fabric, okay? What I recommend you do is to cut a straight edge on your fabric and use your, your presser foot and the edge of it as a guide, okay? Don't ever look at the sewing needle as you're sewing. That's going to throw you off. As long as you guide the edge of your fabric along something on your machine, in this case the edge of your presser foot, you'll be able to stitch straight nice lines. Bring our presser foot down and start stitching. This is a basic straight stitch. The next stitch I recommend for beginners to practice is a zigzag stitch. It looks something like this. What I'm going to do in this case is use this line as my guide and line it up on the edge of my presser foot again. Select the stitch and start stitching. And there's your zigzag stitch.